hat guy. What's up, Hassan? Hey, he's got what's a up? hat on. Look I'm a hat guy now. Idiot. I'm a hat guy now. He's a hat guy now. Yeah. Hassan. What up? How did you enjoy the classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off? It was a really good movie. It was great. Yeah? It was great. It was simple. It was funny. It wasn't complicated at all. And that's what made it great. Just fun. Yeah. It, it's fun time. It was, it didn't feel like I never was like clock watching. You know what I mean? I never was like, oh, man, how much longer is this? I was yeah. like, oh, because they only do like three things. Nope. They, yeah. Yeah. They, just, they, they, have, they cut school, school. Yeah. They cut school and they like go eat, go to a baseball game and enjoy a parade. Well, they take over a parade. They don't, they don't, he takes over. Come on. Which is also enjoying. They are enjoying it. <laughs> I am not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Uh, my favorite, the funniest character was definitely the secretary. Secretary is funny as hell. Secretary is funny as fuck. She made me laugh out loud the most. Yeah. Yeah, when she calls, uh, she calls uh, Ferris' sister an asshole. She does call Ferris. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's, really that's funny. real funny. That's real funny. Uh, the principal is a great character. Ed- Edward Rooney. Oh, my God. Great. Great. I thought he was the best actor in the whole thing. I liked him. Over Ferris Bueller? Maybe not Ferris. Maybe. I don't know. He was great. He was a great villain. He was, he was so stupid. Villain. There's something very funny about having a uh, principal be an idiot. Yeah, man. Uh, it, just a, a bad detective it was the best way to put it. Yeah, he was a bad <laughs> he detective. Shitty. He wanted to get him so bad. I always love the principal that just wants to get some yeah. little kids. So, <laughs> For so no how reason. are you with this investor? Yeah. My favorite part is because so the that, that scene at the end with the school bus. Yeah. Um, I, and that was so funny because all the kids are looking at him. And earlier during the movie, you didn't b- mention this, but when he's running through the hallways of the oh school, my, that's one of the funniest shots of the movie. And walks past each classroom, which was incredibly funny. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I forgot. And so that's for a classic it come, shot. So it, for it to come full circle, man, that's funny. At the end, is very yeah. well, it was very good writing. God. This is my first John Hughes movies I've ever seen as well. So I imagine a lot of his movies are like that: very simple plot, but very character driven. Oh yeah, yeah. Just gr- and just good. God, he's just fucking good, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, he buys the fact that. Uh, well, I, was, I think my favorite part of the, one of my favorite jokes is that he buys the fact they're just making out, yeah. like him, her, and her dad are just making out. Making he just buys it. it. He just, that's how they do it in their family. Yeah, really creepy. <laughs> Terrible detective. Ah, oh, he's so funny. Terrible detective. You killed the, uh, the sound effects. The. <laughs> You killed that shit. <laughs> that, and then you got the music for the chase scene down, right? That's one of the it's dope ass scene, dog. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, man. That was great. Uh, some interesting, like, just facts no, I thought you missed. No. Um, my, uh, the, uh, the bit of Save Ferris. Oh yeah, those were a lot. Of, but they did it. it was so, they did they, so much. But they hammered that shit. It was so funny. My it was favorite funny every ones. Time. My favorite ones were at the Cubs game on the Cubs entrance video. It yeah. says "Save Ferris," and then in the dad's newspaper as he's reading in the taxi when they spot his dad in the taxi next to him. It, it ends. Uh, city rallies around sick youth. Around sick youth. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, so good. Uh, the Ferrari's license plate is nervous. Is it? Mm-hmm. I didn't notice that. That was very interesting. It describes Cameron very well. Oh, damn. And then it, I'm sure that who his dad is, dad is probably the same. Yeah. And then, you know, Since. the character growth is him literally breaking the car that says nervous. That is true. It was good. He's like, I'm going to be okay. It was a good little detail. That's what they were very good with, the background shots. A lot of the jokes happen in the background. Yeah. That the Ferrari driving off, and then when Cameron's deciding whether or not to go, it's a shot of the car's yeah, he, driver's yeah, seat, yeah, yeah. and he's in the back, just like, fuck. Yeah. I thought a lot of good jokes happen in the background. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good use of space. Joke writing was amazing. God, it was good. It's so fun. I, I mean, it's one of those movies you can watch over and over. It never gets old, man. Yeah. It never gets old. I can old. see that. I can see that. I can it's see just myself fun. just watching it again and just enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, because it's just, man, you know, you mm-hmm. see him take over that parade, and he's just like, oh, this is just the coolest fucking guy that's ever existed. Yeah. He's just happy go lucky. It's just so cool. Yeah, he's, he's also just, and you, they never. Ex- also, I love how they never explain how cool he is. Yeah, like how he got cool. They just you just have to accept that he is the coolest person in Chicago. Period. A- everyone knows him. <laughs> everyone knows. Yeah, the Charlie Sheen scene at the end I think is great. I love that. Yo, when you were like when you told me that uh, when he was singing on the float that it was all black people dancing, I thought. 
you were exaggerating. No, bro, I don't be lying. I didn't think. I didn't you think, don't be lying, fool. I didn't think they would like march a five by five line of black people out, yeah. and they were doing the motherfucking <laughs> the thriller shit. They were doing, <laughs> they were doing that shit. Oh I was God. like, what? it was dope, though. I loved it. It was dope. Uh, it was funny, and then you didn't mention the prostitute nurse. I forgot. Yeah, they sent that little boy a some prostitute, some big titties. Oh God, some big titties, and Louis Anderson. Was there? Louis Anderson was there for that scene. Yeah, I forgot that too. You mentioned. I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, that's crazy. That's you, crazy. You know that guy. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll watch a scene and I'll be like, "Oh my god!" I, during this podcast, I'll like, and I'll be like, "Oh my god!" I parked cars for that guy. How did come Derek didn't mention him? Yeah, no, I forgot. He's in there. I, I, I was also. I think I was too busy looking at the titties, and then I forgot to mention it myself. Yeah, I the, think I just got lost. You got lost in the titties. I was like, that God, the that's Louis. Shout out to Louis Anderson. Please yeah. let me open for you again. Uh, <laughs> That's the way to Shout do it. Shout out Louie. <laughs> Another comedy store door guy, man, represent. Uh, That's man. crazy, man. Yeah. Good movie. And I've seen it now, so don't be mad at me anymore. <laughs> Stop being mad at me. Anything anything else I missed? Um, you know? No, I think I'm trying to remember what is Oh, there was more black people than you mentioned. Who? Uh, the nurse. Oh yeah. The school nurse that the takes Sloan out. The school nurse beginning is black. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, she uh, she's black, and then uh, the guy who also steals the Ferrari. Remember when they go? Oh, it's the a black other, guy. The other companion. Yeah, the, yeah. The associate. Yeah, the associate. This black he's guy. Black. Yeah. It was one of the weirdest. Why are they playing the Star Wars music? It's it funny. funny. I, it was funny. Maybe at, like, at the time. Think about how huge that would have been. Yeah, that would have. What a reference. That would have hit the theater. Really oh my hard. god. Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah, that was yeah. Um, let's see what else. No, I mean I think. You got. I think the perfect way. I, there was a scene. There's this one small scene that I think completely just defines like the feeling of the movie is when they get the Ferrari back and the way Sloane enters the Ferrari. She does this yeah. like weird little dance that's very like light and like happy. Yeah. And that's to me that's the whole movie. Like that little dance. Like just watch her as she when she gets in the Ferrari next time after they get it back. Just watch how she enters and it's like oh wow. That's how. That's the film. That, that's the whole feel of the film. I don't even. I don't even remember that. I gotta watch it. Yeah, I think. Well, I think I know just because you told me what happened, so I was able to like catch that. But I was like, yeah, I think that's that's the perfect way to describe the feeling of the movie is her getting into the car. So much fun. Well, you know, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, guys. Uh, yeah. I would say watch it, but yeah, it was just you. So everyone yeah. else, uh, I'm glad Hassan watched it. Just, I guess uh, make fun of me for board. it. Make he's fun on board of me with the rest of us. Make fun of me for it later. So, thank you. <sighs> that was great. Hey, everybody. Uh, Yo, Beaners. Hey, what's up, Beaners? Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, if you could, uh, before we go back to our scheduled movie, uh, if you could follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that at Spoil YouTube. the Beans. Subscribe. And YouTube. Subscribe. Please subscribe. subscribe. YouTube. Uh, spoil the Beans on all those platforms. Rate us on iTunes. Review us on iTunes. Spoil the Beans, guys. And follow me, Derek Poston, at Facebook. Uh, Derek Poston, Instagram, The Real Postagram. Twitter, Derek Poston. Yeah, you can follow me at Instagram at Asan J Ahmad. That's E H S A N J A H M A D. And then from there, you can figure out the rest. <laughs> Enjoy the episode, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Asan Ahmad. Hey. What's up, buddy? Oh, man. I'm excited. I don't know. We'll see. I think this is going to be a heavy movie. I Asan? think that was the tone that you were giving me. Asan? What? What happens in the movie? Set it off. Oh fuck! Oh god! Is this is this is this a black thing? I'm not saying anything. What happens in the movie set it off? Okay, I think okay. I think this is this is one of those black movies we've been talking about. Um, let's see. So if I were to write a movie called Set It Off, all right, it would be about some kind of competition. It's around the center of it all. That's what's you know. It's setting it all off. <laughs> how good you how good you are at guessing it sometimes blows my mind. Keep going. Okay. Oh shit. Is it is it an act okay, it's either like a sport or a dance. I'm gonna go with a sport. It's about basketball. And that's what's setting it off. And there's, you know, there's a big basketball co- <laughs> inner city basketball competition. <laughs> and we have our main character. Let's call him John. John is our main character. And John. the streets 
are rough for John, and the only thing, uh, you know, the only thing uh, keeping him sane is basketball. And it's a big basketball competition. And he Basketball competition. Well, a tournament <laughs> yeah. of some kind, maybe for his school. And he's like, you know what? I don't have a lot going for me, but I want to win this thing. Win the championship or win, you know, yeah. for his school. And, uh, you know, his 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 hometown, yeah, yeah, his neighborhood, his neighborhood. Yeah, he's trying to bring it back for his neighborhood because things are going so well in the neighborhood. (laughs) God, you're the most (laughs) racist person I've ever met. (laughs) Am I? Or am I knocking this out of the park? Keep Uh, knocking it out of the park. (laughs) Keep going. You are knocking it out of the park, though. Um... You know, but it's more, it's more than, it's more than, it's more than the basketball, really. It's just really about his relationships and his day to day movement. It's, it's just, he's good at this one thing and he wants to make his fucking family proud. Yeah. You know, he's, he's been fucking up recently. So yeah. he's like, I, I've been fucking up, but this one thing, this championship, it drives me to do good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he meets a bunch of mentors along the way. One of them in the form of some kind of shop owner. <laughs> of course. Okay. Always do. So shop owner. There's, there's, there's always a shop owner. He'd roll up his sleeves and mop the floors. And uh, that's how he learns the value of hard work. And which leads him to the championship. Because he's been cutting. John, the thing about John, you know, classic John, man. He's just cutting corners, man. Yeah. That's what John does. He cuts corners. But he I- finds out through mopping these floors and some kind of basketball montage. He finds himself, Derek. And the movie resolves. Uh, John uh, loses the big championship, but he's a man now. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Also, the closest you've ever been. Uh, is that real? So. <clears throat> I was this close to guessing ballet. It was either a basketball or ballet. We kept it in the B's. The movie starts. All right. It's one of my favorite movies, by the way. Okay. Ever. All right. It's, so, oh, is it heavy? One of my favorite movies of all time. <sighs> Movie starts in a bank. Okay. Vivica A. Fox. Okay. Is a teller. Ooh. Okay. Young Vivica. Ooh, tell 96. me. 96. What are you telling me, Vivica? She's a teller, right? She's being charming. She's doing her job. She's chilling, bro. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's chilling, doing her job. Being charming. She looks over, she notices like a hood nigga in the corner, like walked in the bank, and she notices another hood nigga. Mm-hmm. She's just, like still talking to these white people. I'm like, just yeah, like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And she's kind of noticing that. And she's like, okay. And then the white person walks up, and then there's one of the hood niggas, he walks up, you know, and tatted on the face, you know what I'm saying? And she goes, hey, what's up, Darnell? I didn't know you had an account here. And she's still trying to be charming. And then he goes, shut the fuck up. Oh, is this a heist movie? Empty the drawer. Oh, fuck. She goes, <laughs> she goes, damn it, Darnell, please don't do this. Oh, God. He goes, bitch, empty that motherfucking drawer. Oh, God, Darnell. She goes, hell no, Darnell, I can't, I can't do this. Everybody on the motherfucking ground. All these other niggas stand up. Full robbery breaks out, nigga. Full robbery breaks out. Fuck. Everybody on the motherfucking ground. Blah, blah, blah. Darnell grabs this old white lady, right? He walks right up to Vivica A. Fox and he's like, bitch, open the drawer. Pow! Cool. Blows her motherfucking brains on Vivica A. Fox, Fuck. dog. That's how the movie starts, nigga. Blood. <laughs> Vivica Fuck. A. Fox. Ah! Everybody in the brain screams. Everybody, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And so she's just sitting there like, she's fucking, of course, now she's just frozen. She's just like, she's just not doing anything, right? So a security guard, one security pops out and he shoots one of the robbers. He shoots a robber and then they kill that security guard and then they get a bunch of money, right? They get a bunch of money. And then on their way out, the guy who shot the white woman, he gets shot and then one guy escapes. So one guy, one guy makes it out. One guy makes it out, right? Dude who shot Danielle, like he gets shot, right? And then, uh, it cuts back to Vivica A. Fox and she's sitting in a corner and she's all bloody and she's just crying. And then uh, the police show up, right? It's mm-hmm. the next scene, the police show up and the head police guy is Dr. Cox from Scrubs. Wait, really? Yep. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> Dr. Cox is my favorite character in this whole goddamn movie, man. So he comes in and he immediately does not believe Vivica. Okay. That's my first thought was like Vivica's in on this. He thinks well, he thinks she's in. He well yeah, well, he thinks she's in on it, right? Right. And so he goes, What's the procedure? What like what's the procedure when you're being robbed? And she kind of like stumbles on it. And then he goes, Hey, what is the procedure 
Like, what is the procedure when you're being robbed? And she's like crying. And she's like, you pull the money clip with your right hand. And then like you signal with your left hand. And he goes, oh, so you know the procedure. You know what I mean? He goes, how come you didn't do it? He's like grilling her. And then she goes like, you know, he, he had a gun. He had a gun in my head. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess he can't think straight. She was like, he had a gun in my head. Like, and then he, and then she was like, he blew a white woman's motherfucking brains on me. She was like, I just, I, I panicked. I froze. And then they're grilling her. And they're like, oh, you know, you possibly ran her. They don't believe her. And she's crying. And then they, like, one of the bosses was like, oh, we're firing you. Because we believe you're in, her name was Frankie. Like, Frankie, you're fired. We believe you're in, like, right in front of everybody. And then she goes the fuck off. She's like, what? You're going to fucking fire me? She's like, you had a gun in my motherfucking head. You know what I'm saying? She's going off on everybody. She's like, fuck you. Fuck you, guys. She was like, I counted $240,000 by hand for you, motherfucker. You think I'm going to rob you? You know, like, she's just going off, right? Crying. And then she leaves, and there was a black woman cop that was sitting there, like, watching all of it, like, drinking water, like, all smug. And she goes, she gets herself together, and she goes, you didn't even offer me a glass of water, sister. And then she walked out, <laughs> and then, bam, set it off. Credits roll, bro. That's how the movie starts, nigga. That's how we starting, bro. Bank heist movie on your bitch ass, dog. Let's so I was wrong going. about the basketball game. <laughs> you were all the way off. <laughs> 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 Whew. Credits roll, 70s music. It's a party. Oh, so Cut to the house. So, yo, my, so I'm so, this is 70s what? party. <laughs> I'm so off on the inside. I thought this was going to be very lighthearted, clearly, but wow. Yeah, the name does not let you know what the movie is. The movie oh, is, well, I mean, the, they definitely set no, it off. No, set it off. Actually, the name lets you know exactly what the movie is, bro. And yeah. Movie, the whole movie. And you're right. Paint. I'm very racist. Very <laughs> racist. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so, sorry. We meet 70s. It's a 70s party. It's like a house party, right? And we meet all our other characters, and it's just a good time. Everybody's laughing. And it's Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay. Jesus. Queen Latifah. What the fuck? And then some other black girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, some other black girl's part of Destiny's Child. So I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But the, that's the cast Vivica A., Queen La, Jada Pinkett, Dr. Okay. Cox. Okay. Okay. Fire cast. Oh, also the director, F. Gary Gray. Who sounds familiar? Straight out of Compton. Damn, good movie. All right, so we're at this party. <laughs> we're at the party. Mm. Everybody's dancing, having a good time. They let you know uh, that Jada has a younger brother and that he's going off to college. It's not a going away party, but everybody's like, you know, congrats. So he's going to UCLA. Everybody's like happy for him, right? You, you know, you know, they're in the hood, but like everybody's partying and happy for him. Right. And he, he looks sad about it. He doesn't look kind of happy about it. And everybody's kind of, so Jada kind of pulls him off to the side and he, you know, she's like, what's wrong? And he's like, I didn't, I didn't get a scholarship to UCLA. He's like, I'm not going to be able to go. And she's like, fuck. She's like, no, no, we're going to figure it out. We're, we're going to get you in UCLA. And he's like, how the hell are you going to get me in UCLA? You can't afford it. You're fucking broke. We're poor. You know, how, we ain't going to be able to get, you know, there's no way I'm just going to have to get a job. And she's like, fuck that. You're not getting no job. You're focusing on college. You have all these good grades. Like you have the, you know, he's like, we're going to, I'll make it happen. Right. She's like, I'm going to take care of it. We're getting you out. She's like, I'm getting you out of here. And he was like, all right, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So the girls now are, they go to work. They all work at like some, uh, for a guy named Luther, Luther Janitorial Services. So you were right about janitors. Hey, I've, I'll get something You're right. You're so fucking racist. Uh, <laughs> he's going off. Mopping on the floors. If that's yeah, the only thing weren't. I got right, yep. this is the only thing I'll get right. <laughs> he was going off on them about like uh, they weren't recycling. He's just being a dick boss. He's just going right. off. And he's going off on this the, the one girl who has, her name's Teet. So it's Jada Pinkett is uh, Stony. Okay. Vivica A. Fox is Frankie. Okay. Queen Latifah is Cleo. Okay. And then the other chick is TT. Okay. Just so you know, when I say that you're on board. Okay. Who's who, okay. All right. So she's going off on all of these, really going off on the TT girl because she's kind of like the quiet one of the group. Everybody else has like a strong personality. She's kind of quiet, you know? All right. She's going off on her and then they're telling her like, hey, man, you know, you got to learn to stand up for yourself, you know, to Sean. And she's like, oh, you know, okay. You know? So they cut back to the police station and Dr. Cox and them are watching the tape of the robbery from earlier. Right. And they noticed that the guy who got away had AP cut in the back of his head. Jesus. Big letters, AP. What a dumbass. People love Adrian Peterson. <laughs> uh, he has AP uh, written in the back of his head. Uh, even before they knew he was coming. I mean, man, if I, if I had that in the back of my head. Yeah, and I'm robbing a place. I'd be like, maybe. A hat. I'm a hat guy now. <laughs> Just for this occasion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about a hat. 
or <coughs> I don't know, going bald, something. Yeah. Well, they find out that he's also like a professional robber. That's what he does, and like he, you know. Oh, that's his calling card. That's like when John Dillinger would be like, "I'm John Dillinger." Not, I mean, not that they just they just reckon he also didn't have a mask on. You see what I mean? So they just recognize. Oh, he his just face. don't give two shits. Yeah, he, and they were just like, just "Oh, like this that. guy is crazy. He's a professional killer." Just like this, he's just a crazy motherfucker. Just be on the lookout for this dude, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, cut back to uh, like the neighborhood, and F. Gary Gray drives up. Right, he's okay. in the movie. He's, he drives up in this he's really in nice movie. ass car, on, and he starts talking shit to the Cleo character, the Queen Latifah, because Queen Latifah. she's in a, a a cool car, but it's nowhere near as nice as his. You know, and he's just kind of giving her shit for it, and she's just kind of laughing. But like you can tell, she's like, "Oh, fuck, I'm sick of being fucking poor." You know what I mean? And right. he's just like, "I'm a rich ass nigga, bitch." Flossing, I direct movies. I think he says that. Bitch, I'm, yeah. I'm directing this. Bitch. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you know, like you ain't shit. Yeah, you in this? <laughs> yeah, you in this? I'm, I'm making this. this. I'm yeah. making this, and I'm in this, bitch. You know what I'm saying? He's just talking cash money <laughs> shit, and. uh and then Cleo's talking, turns around, like, because her girls are all in the car. And she's like, oh. she's like, man, we need to, like, we need to make some money, man. She's like, I heard Donnell, the guy who, uh, you know, the, the, like, the the other, the the Darnell, the guy who robbed, whatever the other guy's name is, right. who got away. She's like, I heard his boy came out with, like, 20 Gs. You Jesus. Know? Just like, take. yeah, you know, just like, goddamn. She's like, they need to rob, rob a bank. And then the Vivigate, what's up? Now, I got to ask, because it's Queen Latifah. Is this supposed to be f straight serious? Like, is this younger Queen Latifah movies? Or is it like... She's young. She's, she's like young. a... She's the hoodest person in the... In the so they're all like... Vivica a. Fox... I mean, they're all like kind of like... Hood... But okay. like you know, talk whatever. But she's like the hood. She's the crazy one. She's right. the motherfucking like psycho in the game. Right, so she's it's a so it's a drama. Yes. Okay. Nothing about this movie. Have you, has anything I said has been funny? No, but you know it can turn around. <laughs> For you guys think I know Queen Latifah and and Jada Pinkett Smith as of recently have been in a lot of comedies. I said a white lady's head got blown off in the first five seconds. Bro, that could be funny. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It didn't feel funny, but I had to ask. <laughs> You're like, it didn't feel funny. Yeah. It felt kind of dark. Yeah. When I was watching this movie earlier, Trey was like, uh, no bullshit. Because we Trey was like, I've never seen this. And he's watching Trey, Our other roommate. Our roommate, Trey. He's a comedian. And he's like, uh, holy shit. He's like, this movie's really fucking fucked up. He's like, how do you tell sad movies? <laughs> and I was like, actually, it's really funny. <laughs> you just kind of tell it sad. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. 20 G's, right? Like, and they're, they're kind of like, she's like, we need to rob a bank. And then all the other, Viv Gay Fox is like, oh shit, I'm kind of down. Fuck this shit. You know, they fucked me over. And then the other girl, the quiet girl, is like, oh, I don't know. And then Jada Pinkett's like, no, like, we're not robbing no bank. Mm -hmm. Fuck no, that's not happening. They kind of argue over it a little bit. And Jada's the only one that's kind of not down. But Viv Gay Fox is like, hey, like, I used to work there, you know, like, I, it, it could happen. And then she's like, you know, but I, I don't want to have to get no, like, I can't get no work because all the other banks, she's like, we're going to have to do this because all the other banks said they think I'm in on it. So, I can't even get work anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And then she, they're like, oh, well, you can work with us at the janitor place. All right. And she's just like, fuck. You know what I mean? She's got to go back to what she doesn't want to do. Oh, God, yeah. So, so, so she she's definitely down. Up. Yeah, she yeah. just worked her way back up to a good job in the community. Like, she, you know, just got it, like, and then just like that, taken away. Pretty much because she was black. Really fucked up. Yeah. It's really fucking up, fucked up movie. So, while that's going on, a nice older black man comes up, and he's like, hey, yo, Stoney. You know, and she kind of turns around. And Jada. Yeah, mm -hmm. the JV, and she's like, oh, and then he calls her over, and then she comes over, and she walks with him. Like, they go off walking, and she's asking him about, like, he owns a car dealership. And she's like, oh, maybe I can work for you and sell a car. you think I can sell cars? And she's like, oh, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, you come work for me. And he's kind of flirting with her. Yeah, you know, get you selling lots of cars. And then she goes, oh, okay, well, uh, if that's the case, I'm going to need an advance on the first paycheck because I really need money. And then he goes, oh, okay, you really need money. And then he rubs her shoulders, and he was like, well, uh, you know, I need a reason to give you money. You know, something like that. Like, you know, implying right. like. We know it's coming. Yeah. And then he goes, he's like, let's go for a ride. And then he gets in the car and she's like, oh. and she gets in the car with him. And, though, and then she's like, so she's like, well, first I'm going to need the money. And he's like, no, let's go to my house first. And she's like, look, when do I get my advance? He's like, today, tonight, maybe tomorrow. And then she's like, fuck this, right? Oh, I can't do this. And then she gets out the car and she's like crying. And she's like, she walks away and he's like, he doesn't even tell, he's cold. He's like, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Right. And then she goes, she's crying. She's like, I need this money. And then the next scene, he is fucking the shit out of her. And it's pretty much just rape, bro. Because she's just like crying, looking off. Right. And he's just, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just, you know, she's just taking it, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's just, ooh, that is dark. Oh, man. Yeah, not funny. Not a comedy. No. <laughs> so she's just taking it, man. 
And then the then she, like she gets the money, and then the it's like her walking home, like in the cold, like in the morning, like it's just cold. And she yeah. just walks home, just shivering, she, yeah, she's shivering, and then, yeah. And then mm-hmm. she gets uh, to the house, and then she's like in the shower, just crying and like Ooh. scrubbing herself really hard, you know, scrubbing her face and just like fucking, yeah, it's fucking intense. Good yeah. God! So next day they're at the this big nice mansion. All right. Big nice white guy mansion. They're uh, at the Luther job, the Luther oh, okay. job. They're, they're cleaning. cleaning. They're cleaning it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they're just kind of making fun of like how rich white people are. And they're just like, oh, this is all bullshit. And then the Frankie, like the character, the Vivica Fox character is like, she's bitching just about everything. Like, I don't want to do this. I, the garbage stinks. And oh, I can't do this. And and they're just giving her shit like, shut up, bitch. You better get to work. Yeah, like, you're back got, here now. You, hey, you, you here. You have to do this. You got to pick it up and do this dirty ass shit. They're yelling at her. And then they got, like they drive off and they're all complaining. Like after the work, they're complaining about the day. And the Queen Latifah's like, I know what I know what y'all need. And then she pulls out a bag of weed. And then the next shot is them on a rooftop getting high than a motherfucker. Like Fuck, lifting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. First weed, kind of good weed stuff that we've talked about. But yeah, they're yeah. Just getting high. And it's funny. I like, like that. They're just hanging out and they're laughing and tripping. A good then, weed scene. Yeah, they're just making fun of each other. And they're like, oh, Queen Latifah, every time we get high, you look like sugar bear. You know what I mean? Right. They're just like, they're just laughing. They're roasting. Roasting each other. And they're just kind of laughing, having a good time. And then they talk about how, like, good a job, because they're looking at this factory across the street and, like, how, man, they wish they used, it was still open. Back in the day, you know, you, they heard, like, you can get, like, $15 an hour if you work there and how great money that was. And, you know, like, oh, my God, would you whoop. And then how they would kill for a $15 an hour, jo- you know, job nowadays. And then Vivica A suggests, like, well, you know, we could just rob a bank again. And then they're all like, ah, oh, maybe, yeah, yeah. And then Jada's like, no again. And they kind of argue on it for a second. And then Vivica is like, come on, let's do it. And then Jada's like, no. And they shit on her and they laugh and they kind of let it go again. Okay. So this is going to happen. Man. <laughs> oh, man. I, what's going to break Jada? I can't believe so, she's already not broken already. So, cut to. It's uh, Jada's younger brother. He's in the room, in the living room. And she's like, hey, hang up the phone. And he's still talking. And she's like... Hang up the phone, motherfucker. I'm trying to talk to you. And he goes, uh, hey, just make sure you got my champagne. You know, hey, just make sure you got my champagne, baby. And then he hangs up, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, she gives him this check, the check from sex. And she's like, hey, I got the money. She's like, I know we're going to need more money. But she's like, don't worry. But I got at least this amount. We'll get you into US- UCLA and get us started. So I get <sighs> like, you know, I love you. And then he goes, I lied. I never even got into UCLA. And she just drops, bro. She just, and she slaps him. She's like, what the, she says, do you know what the fuck I had to go through to get this check? And then he was like, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. I'm not even going to college. She's like, I'm, she's like, no, you're staying here. I pay for your house. I did this. She's like, you're going to college, right? And they kind of argue for a minute, you know, back and forth. And then she's like, you know, he's like, oh, that life. She's like, he's like, maybe you just don't understand. Maybe that college life just isn't for me. I'm done with it. And then he leaves. And then she's just like, oh. and she doesn't know what to do. And then she just kind of tears up the check in anger. She's just pissed. God. So is this movie like? Is it just constantly pulling the rug from under you? Oh, bro, this movie's amazing. Oh God! Remember damn. how good Straight Outta Compton was? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So <laughs> her younger brother goes to this. She went through all that for nothing. Yeah. Her younger brother goes to this hotel, knocks on the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, inside is the guy who robbed the bank who got away. Okay. The AP on the back of the head, dude. Okay. And so that who is that's who he was talking on the phone with, and the dude is telling him like, "Hey, congrats, Mister UCLA," you know, like like you know, congratulating him on graduating from college. He kind of brushes it off like, "Oh yeah, whatever," you know. So everybody thinks he's going to UCLA. You know what I mean? And he, and then he he looks at the back of his head. The guy's kind of laughing. He's like, "I got your champagne." He gives him the champagne, and he goes, "Oh man, that AP on the back of your head—that's fat." And he goes, "Oh, you like that, nigga? Acorn Projects, nigga. You know what you know about that? Like that's where he's like, you know, that's what it is, dog." And then he was like, uh. Oh, okay, that's cool, man. He was like, "You, my girl, can hook you up with her." And he was like, "Oh, really?" Uh, he was like, "Yeah, yeah, hey, baby, go ahead." And then she was like, "All right." And then she hooks him up with the haircut, right? Cut to later that night. Uh, he's leaving. He's like, "Hey, yo, thank you, bro, for the haircut." Which he's like, "Hey, you enjoy? It. Thank you for the champagne." He's like, "Oh, no problem." So he's walking out. You know, he's walking out the the steps, and he's leaving. He's smiling, and, like, and then all the cops go, like, "Freeze, freeze!" Everybody, hands on the ground, hands on the ground, freeze! And he's like, "Oh, okay." And he lays down on the ground, and then he's laying down. But to lay down, he's got the champagne here. So he's he's like, he's like, "Wait, wait, wait!" It's champagne, and then everybody's like, "He's got a gun! He's got a gun!" And then they fire that nigga up. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. And then Dr. Cox is screaming. He's like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Because the champagne bottle flies up and it just drops. And then he runs up to him and Dr. Cox is holding him. He's like, call an ambulance. Shit, call an ambulance. And he's like, it's a goddamn champagne bottle. And he's freaking out. And then he just dies in his arm. What the, what the fuck? What is happening in this movie? Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. So now this little brother who lied about UCLA. He's dead. Is now fucking Dead. dead. 
He's dead. So the cops, he the 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 Dr. Cox character, he's just like realizing that he fucked up because it was his call. He's just like, oh shit, he fucked up. He's, yeah. You know? He and did, one... does he know he got the wrong guy? Oh yeah, he knows. He completely knows because he's looking at he just looked at it's like, oh, this isn't the right guy. Yeah, just the build is like the build, like, just looking at his face. Off. And he they, they yeah. got the, the picture of the face. So they know who he is. They know uh, exactly who they're looking for. Uh, and so they're like, oh shit. They just thought it was a gun because they pulled out a champagne <laughs> bottle and they raised you know, you know yeah. Is. Killed his nigga. Thank God that doesn't happen anymore. Anyways. Uh, so <laughs> killed this nigga man and uh, you know Dr. Cox is like he like freaks out so then it cuts to the cops and now they're busting into the actual hotel room trying to get the actual guy right and then the real he, AP and then he kills like four of them niggas he's a gangster bro uh, Before, they, like, they eventually get him but well, like yeah, but he's like a phase of black but he kills like a bunch of them like he was like a, a bad dude that's crazy but he liked the guy he was trying like, happy for him yeah, you, know, college, I mean, you got him just a college gift. He wasn't trying to get him out of college. No, he wasn't even trying. To, he was just trying to give him a haircut. Yeah, haircut and a champagne bottle. That's all. He was literally just giving yeah. him a champagne bottle. To, you know, so it was like, oh, uh, Jesus Christ. So, so now Jada, Jada is broken. Jada arrives, and she's just. It's like, and she's crying, and she 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 like runs up to her brother, and she's crying, and she can't even like scream at first. She's like trying to scream, and she's just holding him, and she can't, and then she's like. What have you done? What have you done? Just it's fucked up, bro. And then the Dr. Cox character is just looking because he's just like right, he's fucked. He up looks too. fucked up. He just because he just knows he's like this is on me. I yeah. completely fucked up. I call like fuck. You know what I mean? He he was the one who called the told the shoot. I think he was the one that was like, well, it was a bunch of cops saying he got a gun, but I mean uh, it was it's his case. It's his thing. Right. It's his call. That's on him. It's like you know, you know, it's a quarterback. Right. That's it's got to it's got to lay down on somebody. Yeah. So the blame got to stop somewhere. And it's on him. And a good captain would take the blame. Yeah. That is your fault. That uh, is your call. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh. So, the it's like the kind of the next morning, and they're like you know putting the bodies away, and then it, he's trying to talk and apologize to the Jada Pinkett character, and he's like, hey, there's gonna be an investigation and blah blah blah, and then she just goes fuck you and just starts throwing punches at him, and he just takes it. He doesn't even he just deserves like, that. He just takes it, and yeah. she's like fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you know, and she's going off, and then, then the other girls kind of grab her, and then he just kind of sits there because he's just kind of like fuck, yeah, and then the other cop, this uh, black other cop the other black woman cop she comes up to him and he goes uh, do we know who anything on the kid and then she goes yeah uh, no priors apparently a great student his parents were killed in a car crash he's been looking out for him ever since and uh, he was on his way to UCLA like I guess he, he's just lying I think yeah so you know what I'm saying it was yeah. just like and then the Dr. Cox character he's just he throws some of the guys like god damn it god damn it you know he's just he's completely like he just knows he fucked up yeah Jesus Whew. So the next scene, good lord, they start planning the robbery. Oh, definitely, definitely. And Vivica's like, "Hey, I know more about these banks than anybody. Let's do this shit." Mm-hmm. And then Jada's like, "Let's do it." Right, it's time. Let's Fuck. set it all. Yes. So the next morning, they all go to a bank to scout it. Heist, 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 Yo, heist, and a uh, really heist, handsome heist. black man comes up. Yeah, a dude named Keith. Uh, he, it's also Blair Underwood, who's also another famous person. I think I've known. He's I know a, another Morris Chestnut. Okay, <laughs> he's just other Morris Chestnut. Uh, Morris Chestnut Part Two. Yeah, it's what he yeah. is. <laughs> uh, so he comes up to talk to Jade, and he's acting like he's trying to like you know get her to open a business account, and then eventually he's like, uh, I, I, I got, I got to tell you something. You know, I, I was looking down at you, and I said to myself, I said, self, a woman this fine. You, know, you got to talk to her. You know what I mean? He Ooh, just comes at it. And, she's the just moves like, and then now she's like taking off guard because she thought he was like, oh, because she was just asking questions about the bank and trying to get information. Ooh. And then he just cuts to him and was like, fuck all that. I'm, he doesn't even notice that she's trying to like asking very, he's, she's asking like, like how many tellers or like, is it busy? And then, you know, oh, yeah, like, but like he's just questions that should set it off. But he's trying to, he's, I mean, she is very hot in this. Okay. And she's got like little braids coming down like that. Like, oh, so it's like, oh, she's hot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he, he's just so, like, and now she has an in. Oh yeah. Oh. So she heist. heist so she's heist, flirting with him. She's like, oh, okay, you know. And then and then he's kind of flirting with her. And then uh he's like, I have to speak to you, you know, I I had to speak to you, and I, you know, I got in. I was like, I gotta just ask you for your number. You know, he's like, I have to. And then she's like, No, but I'll take yours. Ooh, he's like, cool. All right. Power move. Yeah, she gives it to him. So they leave, and then all the other girls are kind of giving her shit. They're like, hey, what was all that? You know, whatever. And she was like, No, I was just doing that for the case. You know, I'm just doing that for the case. And they were like, Did he ask you out though? And then she was like, yeah, he asked me out. Mm-hmm. And then they all kind of laughed. Ah, like, yeah. like, we girls. <laughs> you know we can't do girls. No, it's like, it was, it was, I'm not, that's not what, it was really. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what happened. It's not really what happened, but it's funny to believe that that's what happened. <laughs> okay, you put your own spin on that? 
<laughs> so that night they're all like at work doing like uh doing janitor stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. Still, and the one girl has to the the TT girl. She has to bring her baby to work because she couldn't. She can't afford a babysitter. Mm-hmm. So the baby's there at work, and then they, they're they're working, and then the baby kind of crawls off wow. while they're working, and then the baby gets into a bunch of cleaning supplies mm-hmm. and just starts drinking shit. And then they have like the next scene is them like ah they're screaming and then they're rushing the baby to the hospital Jeez. just constantly bro constantly the movie's like it's like constantly what? every every you know it's this very is, good this is fucked up all right so now so they rush to the hospital the the doctor comes out and he tells her like hey you know your baby you know uh, like it's gonna make it oh, you know the baby's gonna pull through but you, you know it's all gonna be good and she goes okay when can I she's like can I see him and he goes and oh well child protective services yeah, he's like well you have to talk to child protective services and they were like you gonna tell her? They, they all go off you can't tell her she can't see your baby and he's like hey I'm just a doctor you know y'all gonna have to go talk to child protective services so the next lady is this black lady and she's telling her like hey uh, you know we want you to be able to see your kid, but you know, like you're going to have to set up a court date. And then once you get the court date, you're going to have to prove that you have enough money to prove that you can take care of the kid, that you uh, can provide babysitters, that you can provide this, that, and so, like just all these shit. So and she's, she's just like, lose her baby. Yeah, cause she, oh, completely. Oh, it's gone. Cause, cause now it's like, she's got a, a bunch of money for lawyers and all these other things. Well, to, now she's going to rob a goddamn back. bank. That's what she's going to do. So the, you know, she's crying. And then they, the, like the, Child service lady walks out, and then they they all come in, and they're like, "Hey, you down to rob this bank?" And she's like, "Let's." F-. And then now she's like, "Let's fucking do it." Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. hey, hey, now it's just let's fucking. We got nothing to lose. We're trying to get a kid back. So the next car, Vivica, like next thing, Vivica is like they're all in a car, and Vivica's telling them like how to like rob a bank. Like, all right, this is how we this because she worked at a bank. She's like, go for the teller. You know, she's like, all right, you know, you go to the teller. You make sure that they can't go to get the clip because that's what they do. You get the clip. You know, she's telling them like all the codes and shit, like how how it all works. Right. And then, and then, uh, and she's all right, so that's plan A. And then Jada goes, okay, so what's plan B? And then the Cleo character, you can tell this is like, she's the psycho character because she's right. like, oh, fuck a plan B. Let's just fucking shoot motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Jesus. And then, yeah, and she can tell us like, oh my God. And then Jada's like, shut up, Cleo, and just fucking listen. She's like, okay, plan B. And then she's like, okay, plan B is we go for the cow. She's like, the cow is going to be in a certain area. It's where they keep the money. It's not in the vault, but it's a, they keep a certain amount of money in there. It's going to be up to 50, like up to like 50 grand. And then the Queen Latifah was like, there's going to be a fucking cow in there? And then Jada's like, you got to stop smoking weed. <laughs> all right. All right. There's a funny line. <laughs> all right. I'm a little bit redeemed. Good. It came after the baby drinking the cleaning supplies, but we got to the comedy. <laughs> there was a little bit of comedy. We got to the comedy. So the next scene, they're at like a gun range and they're shooting. Okay, they're practicing. And, uh, yeah, they're practicing and ready. And uh, Cleo is talking to the to the guy who owns the gun range. His name's Black Sam, and it's Dr. Dre. Jesus, met you at the comedy store, buddy. You were really cool. Yeah, uh, Dr. Dre always playing Godfather in his car. Yeah, or he was playing Godfather. He was in his playing car. Godfather in his car, which was fucking badass. That's, that is a badass thing to do. Just Godfather's playing in your car, no matter what. So Dr. Dre, uh, Dr. Dre uh, is fucking. The, he's black. He's the Black Sam character, and he's the selling the guns guy. And then mm-hmm. Cleo's like, "Hey, I need a favor." And she's bringing up like, "Hey, I used to rob all these cars for you back in the day since I was a kid, and now I need a favor. I need some guns." And he's like, "All right, well." And he gives her like this old school like fucking like what like bullshit ass like little six shooter kind of gun. Like a she's, whiny cricket, yeah, a noisy she, cricket, yeah, noisy cricket. And she's like, "Nigga, right. I ain't robbing stage coaches," you know. Uh... <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, "Oh, you know, well, shit. What do you need?" She's like, "I need these guns that we shooting with." And he's like, "Oh man, well, hook me up with your girl Frankie." You know, Vivica Fox. And he's like, "Hook me up with your girl Frankie." Then and she's like, "Well, nigga, how about this? I'll, I'll give you, I'll pay you for whatever, you know, I'll pay you back for whatever we use from the robbery mm-hmm. and interest." And then he was like, oh, what about Frank? He's like, with interest, nigga, that's it. You ain't fucking with my girl. Like, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not pimping her out. Like, fuck yeah. you, you know? And he's like, all right, cool. So he, Yeah, you can't pimp out members of your heist team. It's bad for morale. So, yeah, so. <laughs> I'd assume. Yeah. So uh, the next scene is like Cleo, he's robbing a, she's robbing a car, right? Mm-hmm. Like, getting ready for the heist. And then she gets in the car and then she immediately throws out a bunch of CDs to f- till she finds like a CD she likes. That's funny. So she does that, okay? But then... She throws out the whack music and they try on like wigs in front of the robbery, like right in front of the bank. They're like, they're like, all right, we're about to do this. All right, they're getting hyped up. And then the Jada Pinkett and the other TT character, they start checking it out. Oh, they're God. like, oh shit, I don't know if we can do this. Uh, I don't think we're ready. And then the TT character's like, oh man, we're not ready. I can't do this. And the Jada Pinkett's like, yeah, I can't. We're not going to do this. And then Vivica Fox goes, okay. 
And he pulls out the gun, like cocks that bitch, like fuck y'all. And she just walks right in. Oh, and then the TT character, she, the, the Cleo character, like, that's fuck fucking yeah. bad she, ass. She's just like, all right, here we go. The, the Queen of TT character, she's with it. She's like, hell yeah. And then the Jada Pinkett character's like, oh, oh. And then she goes, and then the the TT character, she runs off. She's like, I can't do it. She runs away scared. Yeah. You know uh, what I mean? What a, what a bitch. So they go. <laughs> so they go in and they. That's broke. why you're just the other girl, TT. You ain't Queen Latifah. So they go in and they rob the place, but they do it. It's very funny. Like, it's kind of funny music playing because they do it very nervously. Yeah. And they're like, uh, stay down, stay stay down, uh, stay stay down. Like, you can tell. <laughs> and they're getting the money. But they get money, but they're, like, still, like, kind of nervous. And they're kind of fucking up. But they're like, uh, you know, they don't right. really know what they're doing a little bit. Right. They're you workshopping know, it. They're workshopping it. Yeah. But they figure out how it works, what doesn't. They eventually get the money, get in the car, fucking jet. pull away jet. And, they, and it, they, it, they do it. Right. Right, so at the hideaway, they'll they cut back to the hideaway because they, they did it. They, and Jada's freaking, freaking out. She's like, "Ah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna get in trouble. We robbed a bank. Oh my god, I can't believe we did that." The Frankie character's counting the money, just smiling. She's just like, "Oh fuck yeah," you know what I mean? And then the Cleo character's in the back, like, "Whoa, whoa!" And she's just screaming, "It's hype!" Whoa, she's got a big yeah. gun in her. Whoa, she's just hurt the fuck up. The adrenaline after that must be the best feeling ever. Oh my! After a successful heist. Oh God, dude. Heist, 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 heist. <laughs> so they're like, they, they, they're just like, they're freaking out. And then uh, the TT character comes in, like during all this. And then uh, the uh, Frankie goes like, where were you? You know, and she goes, I took the bus. And she was like, mm-hmm. And she was like, why Why did you run? And she was like, we weren't ready. I'm sorry. I just, I didn't think we were ready. And then she goes, I had to push y'all. That's what the Vivica Fox character. She's like, I had to do that shit. She's like, we got 12 Gs in 60 seconds. And then the, the Cleo character keeps dancing in the back and she goes, whoa! And then she sh- screams again and accidentally shoots the gun. Like in the, and they all like, calm down, fucking Cleo. And she's like, okay, my bad. <laughs> like they have just turned the fuck up. Damn, all right, all right. Now they've got a taste for it. Oh, yeah. So they back at the cop's office, they're running the prints on the CDs that she threw out the window. Like, hey, because the car... They got a car that got reported stolen matched the car from the bank robbery. The bank. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? So like, let's just run the prints on the CD. It's probably the same person, right? So they let them know that they're doing that. And then back at the hideout, they're doing the cut of the money. And then the Frankie character is like, uh, TT, you ain't getting no cut. Yeah, and that's the, fair. The, uh, well, the other girls are like, because the Frank, the, the TT character is like, well, Frankie, I, I, I'm a part of this. I need this money. We're all friends. And then the other girls are like, hey, like, fuck that. Give her a cut. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we got yeah. in this together. I'm totally on Frankie's side. I can tell. Yeah. The other girls are like, you know, but Frankie, even because they, they explain, like, how much, like, it, like, you know, because they were also like, yo, you know, this is a bigger than you, that you know she needs a daughter. Like, you know, everyone else, like, we're just trying to get money. She's the only one. That's what they said. They're like, she's the only one who needs this fucking money. And then she's like, Frankie, you know I need this money, please. And then she's also like, I love your son. Now she's like, I'm not going to let child services take your fucking son. And then she gives her a cut. She apologizes. She's like, I'm sorry that I said you couldn't get a cut. Ugh. I would have given her the cut, but I wouldn't have apologized. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck You're not that. Not on the heist. Yeah. What? They they were in real danger. You just you took the bus home. Yeah. So the cops were watching with a gun, like an yeah. idiot. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the cops are checking the tape. They're yeah. like, and then he, the Doctor Cox character doesn't fully, but he kind of notices the Vivica Fox. Like, kind of alludes that maybe I think she might be in on this. It right, because like, they know what's sure. going on. She knows what's going on. I don't, I don't know. He just kind of, they're talking and they just kind of alludes to it. But he doesn't have all the clues yet. Okay? Right. So, the next thing, Joda, Jada shows up to the handsome black guy's house, the Keith. Right. Oh. Is his name? Ooh. And then she's like, man, I've never been out with a guy like you before. And then he's kind of like, oh, it's all good because he's like a smooth brother and he's really rich, you can tell. Okay. And then... uh. He goes, maybe we can eat in your hood. And she was like, in my hood? And she was like, you know, I ain't know you, you know, she's like, I don't think you flow like that. And he's like, oh, maybe, you know, let's see. And then she takes him to like a hood restaurant in like her area. You know what I mean? And they like, they're just talking and flirting. And he's telling her about like New York and all these places that he's, you know, traveling to. And then he asks her like if she's ever left LA. And then he's like, you know, she's like, uh, no. And then she he tells her like, uh, it's hard for him to believe. Like, he's like, it's hard for me to believe you're this tough and this beautiful. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why are you putting up? This front, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then he's, he's like, I'm also, he's like, but I'm also quite content. He's like, he's just saying smooth shit. He's like, I'm quite content just listening to you. He's like saying things like that to just like, just, just keep her off balance. You know? And then he, uh, and then he like even says something funny. He's like, are you cross-eyed? And she's like, no, your hair is just small. You know what I mean? Like they're just kind of, la- they're just laughing and flirting. Flirty. Yeah. Very good dinner. 
And then he takes her back to his house and it's like extremely nice and there's paint and artwork. There's paint. There's paint on the wall. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. Paint on all, like, all four walls. There's like there was doors, paint, man. There was do- Yo, they got hinges. There was hinges on the doors. There was yeah. motherfucking place for the food. It, it kept it cold. It was cool. Oh, uh, what, the icebox? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he had money. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Carpet. He had money. So she asked him, she's like, uh, like, do you feel free? And he's like, oh, I feel more free than I've ever felt in my life. You know, I feel like I can do anything I want. And she's like, oh, I feel caged. And he's like, oh, well, what are you doing about it? And she was like, well, what do you mean? And he was like, well, where do you see yourself in five years? And she was like, I don't, I don't know. And then he was like, see, that's our problem. You know, we got we to gotta look beyond just the next day. We got to see five years from now. We got to see 10 years from now. We got to think long term. And then she was like, I guess I've just been so busy taking care of my brother and never occurred to me to think like that that's all that's been my whole life you know since my parents died. right just and survive he like, oh he's then he respect he was like oh i didn't know that he's like oh of course i'm sure your brother's gonna go on to go do great things and kill it in college and be a great success you know just like his you know just like his beautiful mom and then or his sister and then she was like oh well he's dead and he goes i'm sorry i'm stupid he's like i should just shut up and he was like no no it's okay and he's like no really i'm sorry she's like seriously she's like i need this i'm dealing with it so thank you you know, it's like oh, this is like that's is that is how you have to talk about you it. Have to, you have to like, you know what I mean? Like she's like, I'm, this is I'm dealing with it. She's like, so you know, she's like, it's a, you know, and then she goes, uh, he's like, wow, you're a tough lady. And she goes, yeah. She goes, is that a Cabernet or a Merlot? Like on the wine, like and he's like he had a wine, and she he goes, like, he's like, oh shit, no kind of bitch, uh, you know, you know, she's a, you she knows she knows a little something, something. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So the cops keeps watching the tape, comes back to and Doctor Cox realizes he's like, oh, that looks like Jada Pinkett. He's looking at the tape. He's like, that looks like her. And then he alludes to like the Fifth K Fox thing that he thought of earlier. And he's like, ah, oh, all these dots. I'm kind of got a hunch. I think they're involved in some way. Right. So he goes and he tells his his superior, and his superior is like, no. Do you remember the fucking headlines? Oh, Innocent yeah. Innocent college kid killed, and now you want to bring in her, her sister, the sister, yeah, just because you have a hunch. Like you had no evidence. It was all just hunch this time. And then he was like, you know, we're not. Definitely not doing that. Media, boop, boop, And then he's like, oh, I forgot but- she has like a, she has like a, almost like a get out of jail free card. Like, because of that. Yeah. Her yeah. brother was killed innocently by the police. Oof. Innocently. Oof. You know? So, and then he goes, well, what about a tail at least, sir? Let me tail him. And he goes, what part of no did you not understand, sir? The N or the O? You know, he's just like, you know, very captain, angry captain. Yeah. yeah. I'll take your badge type captain. Oh, yeah. So it comes back to Cleo and she's getting a new dope car. She's immediately getting a new dope car. Like an idiot. She's getting high and drunk. You gotta she's sit got to that a, money. She's got a stripper on her car, like this woman stripping for her on her car that's like girlfriend, this gay. Uh, they also allude that she's gay, Queen Latifah. They right. let you know in the beginning of the movie that she's like a big gay kind of like dykey kind of right. tough ass motherfucking woman that'll beat the shit out of you. Probably. Yeah, that'll, you know I mean? this is hype for robbing she's a She's fucking bank. scary. Yeah, yeah. She's fucking the psychopath of the group. But an idiot. So she's just supposed yeah, she's to sit on that up. money she's for got, a second. She's got the stripper dancing on her. She's uh, apparently like just been, she's just going turned up. Yeah. So the other girls come in and they're like, yo, you haven't been at work for a week. Luther fired you. What the fuck are you doing? And then she was like, you know, fuck that job. You know, I ain't trying to go back to work for, you know, no, don't janitor shit. She's like, I got money now. And then the got other girl. $4,000. And then they're uh, telling her, like, they're like, you're supposed to act like nothing's different. That's the thing. Like, you know, that's the whole thing is you're supposed to act like nothing different. Money got you tripping. And she was like, fuck that. If I might run out of money, I'll just rob another bank. And then they're, you know, they're looking at her like, like, fuck, no, we ain't, I ain't robbing no other bank right now. Like, you out of your goddamn mind? Yeah, you got to get the heat <clears throat> off us. And then she goes, what? And they start arguing. And then the Cleo character gets mad and pulls out a gun and puts it on Jada Pinkett's head. <sighs> and she's like, what? You ain't down? All of a sudden, you ain't down? You going to tell me you ain't down? You know, and then she goes, Cleo, you real high and you acting real stupid. So put the gun out of my face. And she's like, oh, okay, okay, motherfucker, you ain't gonna do shit. And then she pulls the gun out of her face and then Jada Pinkett slaps the shit out of her. Bow! What, bitch? Put another motherfucking gun in my face. I'll fucking kill. And then they're about to start fighting and the other girls break it up. And the Jada Pinkett character is like a, like, has like a bottle in her. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck how big you are. I will kill you. Right. You ever put no gun on me. That's crazy, yeah. You know what I mean? So they're screaming and arguing. And she's like, fuck you. I don't need you to rob no bank. We don't want you anyway. And the Jada Pinkett's like, fuck you. I ain't robbing another bank. And she walks out and they're both screaming like, fuck you. And then they exit both like separate ways. Right. Like, it's just a big fight scene. So she goes over to Keith's house. Jada Pinkett. She goes back over to the Keys dude's house and he's like preparing some big Mexican dish for it. And he's like all being nice and like, I prepared this big Mexican dish. And he can tell she's all sad. And she's like, oh. he's like, what's wrong? I'm like, tell me what's up. And she's like, uh, you know, what do you think about friends and money? And he was like, I mean, they don't mix. And she's like, yeah. Ooh. And she's like, uh, well, I think I just had a friendship end over money. And he was like, well, go get that friend back. He's like, leave right now. 
And he's Ooh. like, she's like, why? And she was like, I don't think there's no way we'll get it back. We argued. She's like, there's no friendship that's worth over money. He's like, money's nothing, man. He's like, a friendship, like what you're saying, if it's been a lifelong, lifelong friend, like what you just told me, he's like, then killing money. He's like, money is nothing. You know what I mean? Just give it up. And she's like, all right. Mm-hmm. Morris Chestnut Part 2 is pretty deep. Oh, yeah. He knows what, he knows, uh, you know, he knows what's up. And then she goes like, oh, you just have the answer to everything, don't you? And, oh, knows, and then God. she goes like, who do you think you are? And he was like, I'm thinking, he's like, she's like, you're a genie. And he's like, and I'm here to grant every wish, you know that you have and then he gets up and he like they, he kisses her and it's like the first their first kiss of the movie I'm not gonna lie this sounds super lame the love scenes yes you don't like the love scenes I like the love scenes I think it's, 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 now, it's as the only thing that separates from the horror of the rest of the movie that's fair it seems it is a nice change of pace from like <laughs> just the feeling of falling that I'm currently in but they do seem very heavy handed and very lame they seem very 90s that's what they seem like with like the soft music in the very, background oh yeah, nice. and like oh yeah yeah it's very nineties very yeah soft. the music impl- heavy on the movie. yeah and yeah. then and then when I bet you when they have sex it's just gonna be their silhouettes <laughs> you know like that's what it feels like <laughs> yeah. so in the car Vivica tells Cleo they're all in the car driving and Vivica tells Cleo like she was wrong for that shit she was like hey you were wrong for that shit you fucked mm-hmm. up you shouldn't have been acting like that and Cleo's like ah oh, yeah you know you like you're right but like ah oh, we need to rob another bank with whoop so it's kind of just kind of like talking about what happened. So they go to pick up Jada. Yeah. Yeah. And they tell Cleo to stop acting like a baby. They're like, you need to stop acting like a baby. You guys are going to talk. Mm-hmm. So the whole time, though, the Dr. Cox character is tailing him. You find this out. And he's taking pictures and shit. Oh, God. You know? And he tells the other cop, he's like, I knew I was right. He's like, you feel me? You feel me? Work with me, baby. Is what he's like. He's like, you know, he's like, oh, yeah. He said, he's like, I was right. I knew these bitches were fucking on up to some shit. So you know? crazy. I can't imagine Dr. Cox being like this. Oh, yeah. So the next scene is Jada and Queen, right? Jada and Queen Lana. Yeah. And they're apologizing to each other. You know what I'm saying? And Cleo says it's all good, but she needs like she's like, you need to come back in with us. She's like, she's like, you know that's not enough money. She's like, you need more money than that. And then the Jada Pink is like, yeah. She's like, but I just don't want this to be my life. She's like, I fair. just don't want to be robbing motherfucking banks. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, she's like, there's gotta be more. Very fair. You know, she was like, uh, She's like, don't you want more than this? And then Cleo's like, well, what else are we going to do? We're motherfucking hood rats. And she was like, but why do we have to be that, though? She's like, where do you see yourself in five years? She's like, fucking, what are you talking about? See myself in five years? You know what I mean? Because she was just asking her what the other dude just asked her. Right. And she was like, what do you mean, where do you see myself in five years? She was like, I don't know. And she was like, I'm just, she was like, I don't know where to honestly. She's like, I honestly, I don't know where I see myself in motherfucking five years. I'm just trying to get through the motherfucking day. Fair. But you that's know? exactly what the other guy was talking about in the lame love scene. Yeah. So the right then the Luther guy goes off. He's like, hey, you bitches need to get back to work. And he's like, right. And then they're like, oh, whatever, Luther. He's like, I'm not playing. Get back to work, ladies. And he looks at Queen Elizabeth TV and he's like, and gentlemen. Uh, it's a funny scene. Yeah. So Stop. The, you know what? Queen Latifah was coming with the comedy in this one. Yeah, she was. So I feel like less of an idiot now. <laughs> so the next, they're, uh, this is one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie. Mm-hmm. They're at a round table and there's the Godfather music playing. Okay. For the music movie, The Godfather. And they, they all do a complete God, Godfather, uh, like, scene. It's like, okay. So Vivica, Vivica Fox has, like, cotton in her mouth, and she's doing a Marlon Brando impression. Is that real? This is real. Okay. And she's talking to everybody, and she's like, you know what? Oh, you know, she's telling everybody that she's doing an impression, talking about, like, what's going on. <laughs> and then she looks at the Stoney character. She's like, uh, she's like, I think we need to rob another bank. Don Stoney from the Bronx. And what is your opinion? And then the Jada Pinkett character, she's like, we do this one more time. <laughs> but we do it right. Right. She goes, Cleo Menza, <laughs> no more funny looking underwear for your fancy girlfriends. No more fancy cars, you know? And then the other girl, the, the Vivica A. Fox gar- character looks at her, she goes, Cleo Menza, can you respect our conditions? And then the Cleo character like, like that, you know? What the fuck is happening? Yeah. <laughs> and then she goes, <laughs> all right, then. We're back in effect. And then they all like, fucking like, let's do this shit. Like, let's go rob another bank. It's a great scene. It's a great scene how they do it. Ah oh, man. I bet there's a lot of sweeping shots. I see a lot of sweeping shots. It's good. And what the fuck? It's good. Uh, it comes out of nowhere, too. And the music's yeah. playing, and it's just a good scene. It's just funny. I, yeah, I like how they take time to stop robbing banks and do an elaborate bit with each other. That requires props. A little cotton in the mouth. Yeah, I do bits with you all the time. Never do they. Never do we have to like get ready for the bit. 
you should do that more than. Yeah, we've never come in here like, all right, all right, you're talking about this part of the movie? All right, before we get let's get the cotton balls in. So, they steal another car. Mm-hmm. Down and rob another bank. All right. All right. Cleo does the music thing again. She throws all the whack music out the car. Okay, which is like their the signature oh, yeah. now. They drive off. Uh, heist, they get to the heist, bank. Heist, 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 uh, heist. There is a homeless heist. guy hmm. outside the bank causing problems right when they pull up. Okay. That, immediately, that should be like abort. All right. There's a homeless guy outside the bank causing problems, right? And he's bothering people, so they, the security's calling him, and then like the, there's like a cop, and he's kind of dealing with them. They kind of just sneak past him. Cleo sits in the car still. They kind of sneak past him, and then they're they go in the bank. They're still doing this? They go in the bank, and they, they're they like, all right, fuck it. Like, we're going to rob this shit. So, like, eventually, Cleo, like, realizes, like, oh, shit, there's too many cops, and she walks away and ditches the car. And they go in and just rob the motherfucking bank. Everybody on the ground, freeze. And this time, they're, like, way more. Ass- they know what they're doing. Yeah, they're they're assertive. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. fucking, oh, okay. Put the freeze on. You know, uh, they, uh, the TT character is, uh, is, like, on the ground pretending to be a customer. That's smart. Which is smart. So she's on the ground pretending because in the Vivica A. Fox and Jada Pinkett character, they're robbing everybody. And then this this undercover cop is about to pull out a gun and shoot the Jada Pinkett character. And then the TT character goes, freeze, motherfucker. Like she, you know, like pulls a gun on him and then she takes his gun away. Yeah. Like they're like, you can tell they're just like. They're, they plan for this. They plan Even for this. Even though there's one. cops outside. So the Cleo character. Just wait a day. Wait like four hours. The Cleo character has to ditch now the car. Yeah. She just kind of ditches the car because now all these cops are coming out to deal with this homeless dude. Right. Robbery's still going on inside. It yeah. cuts back to Cleo and she's walking up in slow mo on this white dude getting to his suburban. Mm-hmm. And she like pulls out his fuck and then she's about to rob his thing. And then like in slow mo, so you don't see it. And then right when it cuts back to, and they're robbing the bank. And then the girl's like, oh, we got the money, let's go. And they head right to the door and then they fucking freeze because they see nothing but cops outside dealing with this homeless person. And they're just, and it goes in slow motion and it's all quiet. And they're just like, <sighs> you know, like, because they're just like, Fuck. Yeah, what are they and they're looking at like, where's Cleo? And they start going, where's Cleo? And then all of a sudden you hear, Aah! and through the fucking wall, this white suburban drives. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's like, get in, get in, get in. And they're like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? They jump in the motherfucking car. And then they're like, and then it's a dope ass shot, dog. It goes back to outside and it's quiet. And it's just the cops talking like to the, like, oh, yeah, hey, buddy, the homeless guy. And it's like really quiet. So they haven't noticed anything. Nothing. And then all you hear is, and like a fucking SUV goes flying out of a goddamn window, dog. It's such a dope shot. F. Gary Greg, very well done. Dope fucking shot, bro. It's really cool. It just flies through the glass. They fucking speed off. So the cops don't even notice them going into the bank? No. Nice. Good cops. They make a break and they get away, bro. Amazing. Amazing shots. Made, like even the break. Oh, wait. It was sh- and, they, and they all for point. They beautiful. So then back to the hideout. They pour out all the money. They're quiet for a sec. They're all breathing, just looking at the money. And then they all go, you're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. And then they start screaming like, ah. That was a good heist. on the money. Oh, dude. And it's so much more money. They yeah. made, I mean, dude, it's so much. I, it's insane. So the cops show up and they notice the, uh, like the original, like the Dr. Cox character, he's there. And then they're like, oh, this is the original getaway car. Because they noticed that this car was stolen. The CD thing, like, oh, this is the car. Same. It's the same. It's same. the same. Everything's the same. Yeah. They hit the, they hit the bank the same way. All that shit. Because back to the girls, they're counting the cash. $296,000. Jesus. And counting. Jesus. That's what she said. They're, they're counting the money. They're just celebrating this shit. And then they're like, yo, so we're going to keep working. They all tell each other, we're going to keep working for Luther for three more days. And then we're quitting. Everybody's fucking going to different countries. Like, we're out of here. Yeah, you can't. Separate. You yeah. got to separate for a little while, go to different countries. But three days, we got to keep working for Luther for three days. Then we're out of here. Right. Ooh, what's going to happen in three days? So, Keith, uh, a.k.a. Morris Chestnut, number two. Yeah, part two. Part two. Tells Jada to be at his place. Like, he's, she's on the phone with him, right? And she's like, be at my place at six. Uh, it's a black tie event, so dress really nice. Ooh. She's like, oh, okay. He's like, the limo's going to pick us up, so definitely dress nice. Ooh, I she's see like, you part two. Oh, yeah. So he's like, okay. So she shows up in like this bright red Asian Komodo. Because <laughs> she just doesn't know. She has no idea what that is. And so she's like, is this okay? And he kind of smiles, like, you know, and he's like, yeah, that's it's great, you know? And then he's like, I need to go upstairs really quick. So he runs upstairs really fast. And then when he does that, some police knock on the door. She opens the door. She's, and she panics. She's like, hello? And then he's like, oh, is the, we're looking for, you know, Keith. And then he goes, oh, yeah. And, he, and she, like, kind of fucking just, like, runs away, kind of. Yeah. And then he, they're like, hey, a car was the that was used for a robbery today was stolen. And it was parked actually next to your car. We were wondering if you saw anything. And then he was like, oh, no, I didn't see anything. So they robbed his bank. Not yet. Not yet. He was just there. 
No, it was. I think that the, no, when they robbed a car from somewhere else, it was near the bank. Uh, it was like in, in that complex. You uh, see what I'm saying? So like it was just uh, that mis- shit where they eat. Just misconvenience. It was just, or, or he was just in the wrong. It was just like yeah. it was just one of those things. It was just a crazy wrong place, situation. wrong time. So he's like, oh no, I didn't see anything. You know, oh that's crazy. I'll let you know if I do find out anything, officers. And they're like, oh okay. And then she look. He looks at her and she's like, hey, what's going on? Because she's like clearly panicked. And she's like, oh, I just I don't trust cops ever since what happened to my brother. And then he he's like, oh, of course, I'm so sorry about what happened. But you yeah. know, he immediately buys that story. Get that out makes of jail free card. It makes sense that she would be terrified of cops, right? Or I just not want to be around him. And you know what I mean? It right. that makes complete sense. So they get in the limo, and then uh, in he, the she's in the kimono. There, she's in the kimono. That's funny. And then he's like, he looks at her, he says, I, I lied to, you. I lied to you about something. And she goes, what? And he's like, we got to make a detour. And she's like, uh, what? What? And then it shows them, and it's like a, at a really fancy dress place. Okay. And she's like getting fitted for a really nice dress. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then it cuts back to the limo, and then it, the, the driver opens the door, she gets out, and she is fucking hot. I can only imagine. She had to pick it up. Yeah. Hair done up, looking good. You know what I'm saying? Black dress, just sleek. You know? So she uh, she gets to the fucking part, like the party, and she's looking good, and she blends in pretty well. Like she's talking there, everybody's talking business around her, like high bank business, you know what I mean? And then like eventually somebody asks her a question about banking, and then she like answers it like with some dope ass shit. Like you can tell she knew, like she's smart, like oh shit. And then everybody's kind of looking at her like, damn. You can tell like even he's like, oh shit, she can like hang. She can fucking hang. She can hang. I, yeah, this woman's a badass. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. She's also she. The whole movie, you're just you love Jada Pinkett. She's okay. She's very likable. Oh, and then also I mean, dude, the beginning of the movie when she's crying about her brother, like you are in love with this character okay. at this point. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you just get why she's robbing banks and it's just it makes so, sense. her life is fucking crazy, dude. Right. So and she's just so lovable throughout the whole movie. She's so cute. It's mm-hmm. insane. So. <laughs> Sorry, Will. Uh, There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> so they're hanging out, and then she's telling him how, like, oh my god, this is just one of the best nights of my entire life. And mm-hmm. she's like, I just, you know, I just feel amazing, and thank you for this. And he goes like, oh, do you feel free now? And she goes like, no. He goes like, why not? And she's like, because this isn't my life. I'm just borrowing your life. You know what I mean? This isn't. So I still don't necessarily feel free. Right. I just feel a release for a second. And then he's like, well, why don't you just stay with me and then we'll work on that. You know, and then she's like, I'll think about it. And he's like, please think about it. He's like, with your fine self. And then he kisses her. Love music starts playing. Oh, God. Is it silhouette time? They start showing that they start sweeping shots of candles. Oh, God. Yeah, dude. All the scenes with him are mad lame. And this song starts. What's it gonna oh, be? God. Oh, God. Oh, What's it gonna oh, do? You, Jesus. It, do you wanna be more than friends? Like that kind of love yeah, song. Yeah, and there's like light humping involved. <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, well, no, it's actually very not light humping. They cut, it's like uh, candles, and then it's them, uh, like him massaging her. Oh, okay. And it's lots of shots of her ass. And it's amazing. I don't know if it's really her ass, but it's an amazing ass. Good and enough ass. And then it's yeah. a very passionate, lots of flash cuts of passionate lovemaking. You know? Okay. Who wants it gonna be? That's the song. <laughs> Silhouettes <laughs> or real body? Real body. No, them. Okay, them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very intense lovemaking scene. Very long. <laughs> not like long, long, not too long, but long enough where you're like, yeah, they're, they're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So they go back to the job. Uh, at least it wasn't silhouettes. Uh, the three, the other three girls are back at the job, mm-hmm. right? So she's with Keith, and there's a new boss. Who? And then they're like, That's "Hey, weird. what's going on?" Uh, and yeah. they're like, "Luther, oh, I forgot to tell you, they hid the money." When they said they're going to go work for Luther three days, yeah. they went to the job they were at and they hid the money in the vents at the job because they were like, we'll be here, for, we'll hide here for three days and then we'll, because they, they they were like, because oh, the one TT girl's like, why are we hiding in here? And then she was like, because the cops are definitely on us at this point. Right. So we can't have the money on us. We gotta leave. That's fair. So that way if we get caught, we'll always, the money, you know, nobody's going to check these fucking vents for, you know what I mean? That's fair. So, because they like, they like, they unsealed them and like sealed the vent. Like it was like hidden in the place. Oh God, so, now they're going to have to have a heist from their own workplace to get the money they stole. So, bro, they get to there's this new boss and they're like, hey, who are you? And then he's double like, heist, I'm double heist, double heist. <laughs> All right, so new boss. Uh, they, they're like, hey, uh, was Luther a, was Luther a black guy, white guy? Luther is a black guy. Okay. That makes sense. I think I could have inferred from Luther. I don't know any white Luthers. So Luther, they find out Luther quit. Okay. And the guy. I know Luther like, wins. Yeah. The guy, they're like, what do you mean Luther quit? 
And they're like, yeah, Luther came in, and, you know, yesterday he called me and he said he's not going to be working here no more. He's going to be leaving soon. He quit. And they're like, no. And they take off running upstairs. And then the one girl, the TT girl is like, oh, okay, well, you know, do you know where he went? And then it hits her like, wait, oh, shit. And she goes run upstairs and then they go unseal the vent. Money's gone. So they go run into Dr. Dre, the Black Sam guy. Yeah. And they go, Dr. Dre, have you seen Luther? You know, Black Sam, you seen Luther? And he goes, yeah, Luther came here earlier. You know, he was buying like, uh, he was just buying a bunch of shit. He was flossing. He was, like, he was acting real weird. And then she was like, yeah, that motherfucker has our money, which is also your money. And he goes, wait, that's also my money? Uh, and he goes, oh, I know exactly where that motherfucker is. This is a smart thing to tell Dr. Dre. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that, that was his interest. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So they, he was like, oh, I know where that motherfucker is. He was like, yeah, and he, he's, he's a, he gave him the address, and they were like, oh, cool. He's like, yeah, y'all go fucking blast that motherfucker. Get my money back. You know what I mean? He's like, I don't give a fuck yeah. about him. <laughs> yeah, if I was Dr. Dre, I would also go along with them. Well, he trusted, you can tell he trusted. I mean, she was Robin Carson forever, so he, right. knew, he knows she ain't fucking she him. She ain't over. fucking him, yeah. She, he, yeah, I remember that too. She, came, she also came right to him when the money was Right, gone. right. No, but I wouldn't go with him because I didn't trust him. I'll go with him to I make sure. Luther. <laughs> yeah, Luther got my goddamn money. That's my money now. So it cuts to Luther and he's fucking some white prostitute in a hotel. He's fucking the shit out of her. And the girls, it, bust in, the girls bust in and they beat his ass. They beat his ass and they're like, and he acts like he doesn't know what's going on. He's, and they're like, where's the money? He's like, what money? I don't know what you're talking about. And they, where the fuck is the money, Luther? We're going to kill you. They cock the gun. Like, where's the money? He's like, I don't know what money you're talking about. And then uh, she goes, well, what? She turns around and it's like a bunch of like watches and necklaces and like money clips on the table. And she goes, huh, you don't know where my money is. What the fuck is all this shit? And then she turns back around and he pulled a gun out of the pillowcase and he has a gun on her head now, Queen Latifah's. And he goes, that's my money. And she goes, oh, okay, bro. And she drops her gun. She's like, oh, okay, bro, cool. And she drops her gun. And then right then, right when he's about to shoot and kill her, the TT girl goes, pop, pop, pop. And shoots him in the back three times. Kills him. And so she's like crying. Because now she killed somebody. Yeah, she, well, she crossed the line. That can't be uncrossed. She killed somebody. Yeah. The Vivian A. Fox character standing there. And she's like, doesn't know. And then the, the Cleo, the Queen Locke character, she goes up to the white prostitute. She's like. Where's your license? She gives her, gets her license. She reads her address to her and she goes, you don't know nothing, right? And then she was like, yeah. She was like, you ain't seen nothing, right? She says, like, remember this. And she puts it in her pocket. She's like, I know where you live. And then they walk out. And the prostitute's just like, <gasps> just crying. Because she's just like, what the fuck yeah. kind of night did I just have? Yeah, already, already not having a good night. I probably, if I had to venture a guess as to how her night was already going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whew. So the next morning, Stoney is leaving the Keith guy's place from the the, the lovemaking, right? And uh, she says, she's like, she's like, I'm going to call you, you know? And she's like, hey, you better call me. He's like, hey, a uh, couple days. He's like, we'll do Italian because, you know, they did Mexican. Oh, okay. And then, and then he's like, she turns around crying and she's like, I'll call you. Oh. Because she knows. She knows. It's not there's, happening. There's no way. There's no way. I'm, she's leaving, remember? Right, yeah, I know. I know there's no she's way. Leaving. I feel so her. Oh, she Jada. gets back to the hideout and then she finds out everything that's going on. Ooh. She had no idea about everything. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Money's gone. Yeah. Luther is now dead. And they have to deal with a dead body. And, and they got to deal dead, with the money. What did they do with the... Did they leave it in the hotel room? They left it in the hotel room. Well, you have to. What are they going to do? They didn't yeah. have time. It's, just, it's, too, it's too much. It was just... They had to do what they had to do. Uh, and there was a witness that they had to leave. So it's like... They tell her all this and Jada's like, oh my God. We got to leave. Fuck? And then uh, she's like, you know... I, and they're like telling her like, hey Jada, we got to take another bank. We're broke. We got... You know, we have no money now. We don't know where the money is. And then Jada's like, no. She was like, they're bank. She's like, I'm done. And she's like, we got to do this, Jada. You know, Stoney. And she's like, armed robbery is one thing. And then there's murder. <laughs> you said we weren't going to hurt anybody, Frankie. That's exactly how she says it. What? <laughs> Shut the fuck. said we weren't going to hurt fuck? anybody, Frankie. I hate that. I hate that excuse when characters use that. Like, oh, yeah. when they, it was, well, you're robbing somebody. That is in the realm of possibility. Oh, yeah. So then the TT ter- character is like, Jada, you know, you, please, come on, don't do this. I, I need money for my son. Please, yeah, please. come on, we need to do this one more bag. And then Cleo comes in like, like a, ooh, actually, I forgot a whole scene. Really? So, ooh, right before. You fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. Reverse heist. Reverse I have, heist. I, this is reverse important. heist. Reverse heist. Right before uh, when Keith, like, when she left the, the Keith dude's place. Right. The Cleo chick's walking to the hideout with groceries, right. and the Dr. Cox character rolls up on her. Oh. And he's like, hey. Wait, this is before, is it after they murder? Or after, this is right after they murder. You okay. know, and she's leaving the place. Jada doesn't know anything. She's going to the hideout. Cleo's also going to the hideout. She's got groceries. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Cox rolls up, and he's like, hey, I know you killed Luther. 
And then she's like, what are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no Luther. And she's like, we got his body. We got Prince. She's like, we got a witness. She's like, I need you to come down to the station. She's like, I ain't going down to the station. She's like, you come down to the station right now. So then boom. They're like, hey, we, you know, it's just a, it's a roll call, but you're going to do it. Whatever. So she's like, fuck. So they got her. They take her to the roll call. She's sitting there. She's like fucking looking through the thing. And then the white prostitute lady, she's like, oh my God, I feel like they, she's like scared. She's like, I feel like they can see me. And they're telling her, she can't see you. She was like, just tell us who murdered Luther. And then the Cleo character's looking at her. And she's like, I don't know. And she's like, look, turn to the right. Like they tell all the suspects, turn to the right. And then as Queen Latifah turns to the right, she does this. Like touching where she put the license. And then the white girl goes, I don't see her. And then they they both get mad because they know it's Cleo. They're like, right. it's tell us here. the girl in the middle did it. And she's like, no. And she does a snitch. And then the Cleo character like starts smiling. And they're like, you think you're pretty fucking cute, don't you? And then like she just knows like that bitch didn't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because they're still, they didn't say, you know, all right, you're good or anything yet. You okay. Know? Okay. Now, screw up. Fast forward. Fast forward. Yeah. Jada's going off about all that. They're telling her, Jada, we need to rob this. Cleo comes in. Uh, and they're like, Cleo, where have you been? She tells them what happened. Whoop, whoop, and then she, they're like, oh, my God, I'm so glad you're okay. And then she's like, yo, we got to hit another bank. And then leave. We got to hit another bank immediately and leave like right after. We have to. We have no money. We, this, we're, we're hot. Yeah. That's what we got to do. And she's like, all right, what bank are we going to hit? And she was like, uh, it's downtown federal. And then Jada Pink is like, oh. I just fucked that guy. She's like, yeah, anything but downtown federal. And they're like, what? You gonna play us? Off oh, old buddy at the bank? And she's like, ah, all right, I'm down. And then Cleo's like, Ch -ch -ch, it's on. Iced, iced, iced. So the TT iced, chick, iced, 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 iced. she goes and visits her son, right? And the social services lady is like, hey, you know, I hope your court date's coming up tomorrow. So I hope, you know, you get, you know, the money, the to money. Get your son, woo, woo, you know, and I want you to know that, you know, we're rooting for you, blah, blah, blah. And so after that, the girls go get breakfast. They, they all leave the social service thing. They go get breakfast and they all plan the robbery out, you mm -hmm. know, and they're just talking about the robbery and how they're going to do it. And then the uh, Cleo character's like, hey, it's, I, I'm tired of those bum ass wigs. I got us something cool. And then the Frankie character's like, what you got? And then she pulls out these dope masks. They're like clear, but they make your face look like really creepy. You know what I mean? Like, oh, shit. Like, it's dope. And they're like, oh, they're all like, fuck yeah. Like, really scary? Oh, yeah. And so right when that happens, the waitress drops the bill. And they're like, oh, they kind of freeze up. And then they look at the bill. And then Cleo's like, you know, hey, I'll, you know, I'll pay this after the robbery. And then she throws it over to the Frankie character. The Frankie character's like, I ain't got no money. And she throws it over to Jade. And Jade's like, I ain't got no money. And then they're all like, well, we know TT ain't got no money. And they're all looking at each other. And then Cleo goes. And then just gets up and walks off. And they're all like, no. You can't do that, Cleo. And then one by one, they're like, fuck it. And they all just yeah, leave. Yeah, what do you mean you can't do that? <laughs> yeah, they all just like walk yeah. out. And then the waitress, she's like, hey. And then they all take off. Yeah, yeah. So cut to the bank, you know. Well, well, Cleo, well, like first they steal another car. Cleo steals another car. Does the CD you know, thing. Does the CD thing. And they all, uh, like Jada's. What songs are she, what, what CDs is she choosing? If I had to guess, Simon and, Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, hip hop. Right. So <laughs> Simon is hip, Garfunkel is hot. Jade is packing away her dress, like the dress that she wore that he that the dude gave her, you know. Right. And she's like all thinking fondly of the night. And then they, they she's like, all right, yeah, let's go do this shit. They get the car, they get this blue Jeep, you know what I'm saying? And they put on these blue, like these uh jumpsuits. Okay. So they're all wearing jumpsuits, right? right. And they got the mask. Heist, 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 Cut to the heist. bank. They are giving uh it's Dr. Cox and the, his, the other cop, and they're giving a speech about the four women. They're like, yo, these women are violent. They know the inner workings of the bank. We think they might have an inner person. We so don't this know. This is the bank they're about to rob. We're about to rob. They're like, Woo! we don't know if they're we don't know if, you know, but we know that they know what they're doing, and we don't know what bank they're about to hit next, but we know we want all the the big banks to be on high alert. These women are getting better this at what they're doing. The best time to hit that bank, I get yeah. So they're like, okay, they're on the way there. Uh the Keith guy's in the meeting. Because mm -hmm. he's one of the higher ups in the bank. So he's in this meeting and then he gets a call and then he goes, he's like, I'm going to answer this. And he goes, and then, because uh, he's looking at the tape while he, they're showing him the tape. And he kind, he thinks it's Jada Pinkett, but he's not sure because he's like, man, he's just looking at it like that woman looks familiar. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then right then he gets a call and he answers and she goes, hey, it's Stoney. And he goes, hey, what's going on? And then she's like, I need you to meet me at the restaurant that we had that first date at. And then he's like, like now? He's like, I'm kind of at work. I'm doing She's like, and please, I need you to meet me there in five minutes. You can tell he knows something's up. And he's like, right. okay, but you better be there. And she's like, I will, I promise. And then he hangs up. And then they're on their way. They're on their way to the bank. They fucking got mask on. They got gun. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, I just want to get him out of there. Yeah. Safe part deux. You know? And so uh, the meeting ends. So he comes back into the meeting. And he's like, hey, is, can I, I have to, he tells the Dr. Cox, he's like, hey, I have to be somewhere. Can this be over? And he's like, oh, yeah, that was all we needed to say. Just wanted to say you guys be on high alert. So that he leaves. The cops leave. They pull up. Cleo busts in. 
it's so Frankie's in the car. This time it's Cleo, Vivica. I mean, uh, Cleo, Jada, and the TT girl. Yeah. And the Frankie character is now the driver. Okay, she's the driver on this one. So she's in the Jeep waiting outside. They bust in. They pepper spray the security. Everybody on the ground. They're fucking, and they mean business this time. They're like shooting. They don't shoot people, but they're shooting like at people. Right. They're like, they're like, no they're, fucking around. They no need the money around. to leave. They need the money to leave. So they're getting, they're fucking, pow. You know, everybody on the ground, freeze. Don't you fucking move, bitch. Pow. Like shooting the phones away and shit. Like they're just going off. Like they're not fucking, they got like high tech Uzis and shit. Yeah. So they're going off. They're getting the money. They're getting the money. And uh, right then, the, it shows the Keith dude and he's at the restaurant and he's kind of like he can tell something's up and then it cuts to the two cops and they're driving away and they're like uh, downtown federal just was hit the uh, robbery downtown federal just hit with robbery and the Dr. Cox goes god damn it fuck fuck and of course he flips a bitch and they pull back up you know what I mean because yeah. they're just like oh shit and it cuts back to they're still robbing the place and they're getting the money now and then they're about to leave and then it shows the Dr. Cox carrying the cop. They're like getting dressed and putting, pulling, pulling uh, like bulletproof Bullet vests vest on, on, like getting ready to bust in. And, and then the Cleo, no, and then the Cleo character goes, uh, "Get some more money," because they're about to leave. She goes, "No, get more money." And then Jada's like, "No." And she's like, "No, we need more money." And then the the TT character's like, "Ah!" And then she goes back and she starts stuffing more money. Oh, stuffing greedy. more money, stuffing more money. And then that's where Jada goes. We're getting greedy. We gotta go. We gotta go. And the TT character's like, "Ah!" And then they 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 start to leave. And then right when they hit the door. Dr. Cox character goes, you know, Cleo, Stoney, no, put the guns down, freeze. And then they're like, fuck, because they're caught. Now it's just like, like both the cops, they got the guns on them. And they're like, Cleo, no, Stoney, you know, don't do this. Don't do this. I'm sorry about Stevie. I'm sorry about Stevie, but this doesn't help. Please. I'm sorry about your brother. Like, but please don't do this, you know? And they're looking at him. Dr. Cox is about to die. Oh, bro. You know, he said, uh, I swear to God, Stevie was enough. Put it down. Please put it down. And then they start putting the guns down. They take their masks off and they're like, fuck you. They're like, ah. And they don't know what to do. And then Jada's crying and the TT character, they slowly start putting their guns down because they're like, fucking, it's it's over. We're caught. They got right. gun- It's two cops. We're done. And then the Cleo character's like, ah. And then right then in slow motion, a security guard runs up. Slow motion. Pulls out a gun. The Dr. Cox character goes, no. And then he fucking shoots the TT girl in the chest three times. And then the Jada Pinker's like, no! And then she fucking unloads on that nigga. Bop, 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 like six times. And then Cleo starts shooting at the cops and just an all-out all shootout war starts. <laughs> cops versus them. And it's crazy. The Frankie character hears this outside. She hops in the Jeep, pulls it on the curb right in front of the bank now. Because she's just like, let's go, let's go. And they fucking grab the TT girl's like shot up body. She's screaming. And they pull it in the truck. The Cleo character fucking like. Did they un- get any money? Loads the clip again. Yeah. Fucking goes, da, 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 like unloads like crazy and like fucking like runs and then like slides and grabs the money in one hand and keeps shooting at the same time. It's a fucking badass shot. Da, 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 da. And then she fucking jumps into the, the, the Jeep and then they all pull off and they're all screaming. And Frankie's like, you know, the driver's like, what happened? What happened? What happened? She's like, go, go, go. TT got hit. We got to get to a hospital. She's like, this car is not going to make it. We got to switch cars. And then Jada's like, do what you got to do, but we got to get her to a hospital. And then the teacher's like, tell me you're okay, TT. Tell me you're okay. And then she's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. She's just bleeding everywhere. Oh, God. Really good movie. <laughs> oh, God. Man, Dr. Cox is unlucky with these shootings. Yep. So they get to the car, right? And new the other, car. They get to the new car. The other girls are like, like the other car's not working, so they're trying to get it to start. Right. And then it's the Jada Pinkett character's like holding, rocking the TT character in the back of the Jeep. Right. Right? And then the TT character's like, uh, can you tell him to hurry up, please? And she's like, okay, okay. And then I swear to God, just like this, she goes, hey, guys, hurry up, please. Like trying to like keep cut, just like yeah, the, yeah trying to hey, hey guys, c- come on. <laughs> and then the, the TT character is like, Keith gonna be mad at you. And then she laughs. She's like, I know, but don't you worry about Keith. She's like, man, you know what I could go for right now, TT? She's like a banana flambe. She's like, you remember this one time? She tells a story about this time they got great banana flambes, oh, and she's crying. And then in the middle of the story, she re- she realizes she dies because you can tell she just starts telling the story differently. Yeah. She goes from telling it happily to cold. Like yeah. Like, I could go for a banana flam bag. And then she just know now she just knows she's dead. She doesn't yeah. look down. And then the other characters are like they the other car starts and they pull up and they're like, come on, come on, bring her in. We gotta get her to the hospital. And then she just like she does, takes her eyes and goes like this. And then they they both lose it. The Viv Gay Fox and the And Queen Latifa. Lose it. Just and it just goes quiet and they're just crying. And then she the Jada Pinkett like puts her body down, closes the doors on the Jeep, and she's like, We gotta go. And then the Viv Gay Fox character's like, We can't leave her. She's like, We gotta go. And then they get in the car and then the helicopter 
starts following them and they drive off. So now the girls are in a full on chase, chase, chase high speed chase, 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 baby. Chase, chase, chase. So they're chase. all and they're all in the news, like full blown coverage. Everybody oh, okay. knows their names. It's okay. all it's it's the story, all the scene. Like it's it's the thing that's it's being thing. talked about right now. Oh god, so they're not making out of this. So she's you no, know, she's driving like a madman to avoiding cops, and she's getting away and getting away. But you mm-hmm. know, but the helicopter on her, and more cops keep showing up, and the news like you can hear the voiceover of the white guy, like these three suspects, Cleo, Frankie, and you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. like you know the young other one got killed early. Like he's just talking about it, so it's like oh they're done, they got all yeah. the information. It's dead. They're not making it to Mexico. Yeah, uh, it shows the Keith guy and like he's just watching from his bed and he's just fucking devastated because now he just knows completely what you know. Now what? he knows. Yeah, you know what I mean. And the girls like uh, they, they so she's driving and she uh, she thinks she gets away because she goes through a tunnel. Right. She's like Skr! she thinks she gets away and in the tunnel she's like she's like they're like oh my god I think we got away and they're driving through and then on the other side they see another helicopter and it's just like waiting for them and so they stop in the middle of the tunnel and they're like fuck. Fuck, what do we do? What do we do? And then Cleo goes, get out. And they're like, what? She's like, you guys got to get out. She's like, take the money, wait on the wall 10 minutes, and then after I drive away, just get out and run. And they're like, no, we can't leave you. We can't leave you. She's like, she's like, she's like F- shut the fuck up and just go. Smart plan. She's like, this is it. She's like, I love y'all. And they're like, I love you. And they say their bias, and she fucking floors it. She's like, all right, helicopter, it's me and you. Me and you, motherfucker, let's go. It's me and you. Ah! And she screams, and then they go, whoa. And the helicopter misses, and the, even the news guy's like, whoa, that was a close one. And then she drives off and like gets away for a second. So it shows the other girls there waiting for a little bit. And then they run down a flight of stairs and then they hug each other and they jump out the jumpsuits right and change clothes and then they split up the money and then they go, like, I love you. You know, be, be careful out there, girl. And they hug and then they go separate ways. Right. All right. So now Cleo's getting chased. Right. right. And they set up a roadblock. Yeah. Like full on roadblock. It's a right? great plan. Cleo, way to be a bro. Way to be a bro. She's the, this, so they set up a way roadblock. Way to be a bro. And then she has to stop. Because now it's like all the cops' cars in front of her. They're behind her. She has nowhere to go. Right. And they're like, you know, step out with your hands up. Step out with your hands up. And it slowly starts playing this song. The This Big Sean song I've been listening to is the sample they use. And it, it just goes, uh, day after day. Oh, God. So it's about to be lit she lights, up. She lights a cigarette real slow while the song's playing. It's really dope. Very Clint Eastwood. She looks everywhere. And then she has like a low rider and she fucking kicks it up. And the song keeps playing and she fucking floors it and they just start shooting at the car while the song's still playing. They shoot it like a thousand times and she smashes into the cars and then it just rolls to a stop, obviously. And then the song's still playing. And then she's sitting there and it looks like she's dead. And then the cops start like coming in close on it. And then right then, she opens up the door and like Scarface cigarette still in her mouth, like starts still trying to like kill motherfuckers, and then they just shoot her like. <laughs> well, yeah, then they light her up. But dude, it's one of the most OG like because it's just that's how, badass. It, it's all slow mo and it's all fucking that dope sad songs playing. You know what I mean? And it just ends with, and then she falls to her knees and it's like down on my luck and up against the wind, and then she falls, and then even the reporter is like, oh my god. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, my God. That was dope, though. But that was the most <laughs> real nigga shit I ever seen. <laughs> That's what the cops said. That's, that was the most goddamn real nigga shit. <laughs> like, even the cops are, like, the cops are, like, sad, and they, like, can't believe it, right? Yeah. And so, the screen, like, kind of fades to black. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, uh, so Jada, it cuts to Jada. And she's running onto a bus. Right. Like, from Mexico. And, she's, right. and she puts on a sombrero. It's all these Mexican people. And she blends in and she gets on this bus from Mexico, right? Mm-hmm. And then she's like, oh, my God. She's like, she has her money. She's just sitting there. And then the bus starts to slowly drive away, like, in traffic. And it's slowly kind of driving off. Yeah. And it, like, shows Frankie. It, it cuts to, like, a f- picture of feet. Like, feet. And you hear, like, woo, boop, boop, boop. Like freeze, everybody freeze, freeze. You hear like that, and then it pans up, and you see it's Frankie, and she's like right next to that bus stop that Jada was at, and the bus is slowly pulling off, so it's going slow, and so she's looking at her, and she's looking at Jada, and they're looking at each other. Jada's of course crying, and then Frankie's looking at her, and then you hear Doctor Cox and all the cops are like freeze on the ground, on the ground. And you hear him go wait, wait, everybody wait, and he's like he's like Frankie, it's just me, and he takes off. He's like I got nothing. He pulls off his gun. He's like everybody wait, wait. He's like Frankie. Cleo's dead. Tamia, she's dead. The other Titi, she's dead. It's like the other girl, Jada, she's dead. 
They're all dead. He's like, you wait. And he gets up to her and gets right up close to her. And she's like still turned around. He's like, it's just you and me. He's like, you got to look out for you, Frankie. All you got is you. She's about to kill him. Please you know? kill him. And uh, and then like, uh, he's like, you have to save you. And then he turns around again. And he goes, you wait. And as he turns around, she pulls out a gun and puts it on his fucking head. And she goes, what do you do? What's the procedure when a gun is to your fucking head? And he looks at her like, and she goes, what's the fucking procedure when a gun is at your fucking head? And she's crying. And he's just like, he, he's just like, and she goes, it's over. And she pulls the gun down and she turns around and just starts running towards the bus in slow-mo. And then you see Dr. Cox and he puts his head down. And you just see one bullet poof, right through her chest. <laughs> and she falls. And then it just and then it pans up to the Jada Pinkett character and she's just looking at all this, just fucking crying, just devastated. And then Dr. Cox character, he's looking at her and he kicks the gun away. And he looks up and he locks eyes with her. And she's looking at him, she's crying. And then he turns around slowly and just puts his hands on his head. And it just fades to black. He lets her go. Let's her go. Cut to Mexico. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was like, man, that's a perfect ending. Go to Mexico. Oh, Jesus. Jada's in a hotel room and she's fucking, all the money's on the bed and she's just sitting like on the edge of bed and she's crying. But like the rejoiceful tears. Right. And then the, and she's like thinking of like all these memories and she's just like bawling, crying, like the, just like she can't believe, like just like, <gasps> And then it's like this song's playing like you were my sister, like it sounds like that, like a really like happy like but sad song. You were my friend, like like that. Yeah. And she's just crying, and then she's just like she wipes all the tears, and then she goes to the bathroom and she cuts all her hair off, and she's like bald. You know what I mean? She looks really hot, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I mean, she's hot. You know, she grabs all the money and then she folds up the dress for the nice night and she puts it all in a bag, and then she goes and then it shows back to Keith and he's in an office and he gets a call. And he goes, hello? 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 Stoney, I'm glad you're okay. And she goes, you know, he goes, Stoney, I'm glad you're safe. And she goes, I am. And he goes, she's like, thank you for everything. And then she hangs up. And then she smiles. And then he kind of smiles. And then it's a beautiful shot of her driving away in this red Jeep, like away from Mexico. And it's this beautiful shot. And then the movie ends. Uh. And that set it off. Uh, that's such a lame ending. What? If they had ended the movie at Dr. Cox walking away, I would have been like, that's amazing. Yeah, I guess they wanted to end it on more upbeat. Uh. Great movie, though. I felt set very let off. down at the end, but... Jesus Christ. Set it off, bro. Not about basketball. Like, Not at all. Not about basketball. At all. Bank heist movie on your ass, nigga. Heist. 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 They're the best, right? Heist movies are the best. Heist movies are Also, great. did you see that movie coming? No. No. Even when you thought it was like, oh, it's a black movie, whatever. Did you see it coming? No. I also, not a black movie. If you told That's me, a fucking, fucking movie. movie. Yeah. If you also told me that Jada Pinkett Smith and Queen Latifah were in a heist movie, I'd be like, that's a comedy. Starts off with like a damn near rape scene, a murder. Bro, huh. this movie's fucking intense as shit. I saw this movie as a kid and it fucked me up. That's why, I mean, it, dude, it fucked me up as a kid. Jesus. I was like maybe nine when I saw this movie. It's not a movie for nine year olds. Fucked me up. Yeah. Amazing film. F. Gary Gray, you are that motherfucking dude, man. Oof. Very straight out of Compton tone. Okay. The tone is the same. When you watch it, you're like, wow, it's just intense. On intense. The seat, just intense. You're on yeah. your seat of the, you see the whole movie. Just like, oh my God. Well, I gotta watch Set It Off now. Set it off.